Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup at the top stories of the day. The central government is set to roll out the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen after drawing up a list of beneficiaries based on the socio-economic and caste census 2011 data for a final verification at the Gram Sabha level. Officials said the list of beneficiaries under the program, earlier called the Indra Awas Yojana, will be made public in each Gram Sabha on April 24th as part of B.R. Ambedkar's 125th birth anniversary celebrations. The Road Transport and Highways Ministry wants the Delhi government to pay 10,000 crore rupees for the construction of eight new elevated corridors linking the eastern and the western peripheral expressways to improve traffic situation in the national capital. The two expressways, which will come up at a cost of 20,000 crore rupees, will help divert the long-haul interstate heavy vehicles from Delhi roads. A meeting in this regard was held between Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. The Trump Organization has signed its first commercial office deal in India with private equity fund and developer Irian Gurgaon. The American real estate firm founded by Donald Trump, the frontrunner for the Republican nomination for the President of the United States of America, will lend its name to a new high-end 6 lakh to 7 lakh square feet office building on Gurgaon's Gold Road Extension Road, which will be built by IRIO alongside a retail complex for about 1,000 crore rupees. With cash flow down to a trickle, Jayaprakash Associates and JP Infra are offering land parcels of around 2,200 acres to banks in a bid to buy peace with lenders and settle most of its loans. Banks have shown willingness to take over land parcels to avoid putting a non-performing assets tag on the two JP Group companies. Swedish furniture retailing giant IKEA is in talks with Obroy Realty to buy a built-to-suit retail space for over 900 crore rupees in its upcoming project in Borivali suburb of Mumbai. The company is buying retail space spread over 3.5 lakh square feet and this will be the largest space to be occupied by any single furniture brand anywhere across the country. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.